All right, so I've traveled up to Sandersville, Georgia today to CKD Aerospace. Lots to cover here, lots in the, uh, the shop, several different buildings. So uh, we're gonna talk about the speed right now. So I'm Richard Kazmarek. I am the Director of Operations here for CKD Aerospace in Sandersville, Georgia. Um, at our location here, we, uh, we do prototype builds, we do production parts uh, for firewall, firewall forward uh, options for different engine manufacturers like UL Power, MW Fly, um, Aero Momentum, uh, basically anybody that wants or needs the assistance to help get their engines on the front of various aircraft. So, so almost anything firewall Air, forward. Everything firewall forward and then we also do um, assisted builds. Awesome. So, um, case of the airplane behind us, the Speed Aircraft F-100. Uh, this is actually the prototype, so this is the first one of that airplane. Uh, we're doing the full build of it. Uh, awesome. So let's, let's focus in on this today. There's, there's a lot to talk about here. Uh, this is the Speed... Speed Aircraft F-100. Speed Aircraft F-100. Already sounds like a race car, a race a, plane. Two-place two tandem, um, wide bodies, 36 inches wide in the cockpit. Um, powered by a 350 horse Lycoming is the plan. 350 50. horsepower. Yeah, wow. And, uh, and if, I, if I can convince the owner to do it, well, I'd much rather put the AIO uh, 720 on the front. Okay. So this is, uh, I want to walk around this plane here in just a second, but it's it's 100% uh, carbon? All carbon fiber. Okay, yeah. carbon fiber. It's a one piece solid spar wing, mm -hmm. right? Correct. And what's quite unique about this, and uh, we'll show you inside the cockpit, is it's big. I mean, yeah, this is it's huge. <laughs> they can accommodate a very big person. Yes, which yeah. is is pretty unique in the aviation world, especially in a tandem, where it's usually average. I would say is twenty four to twenty eight inches. Correct. So this is thirty six. Thirty six inches. It's huge. And a baggage compartment that will accommodate golf clubs for two. Okay. So every airplane has its own mission, right? So what is the mission for the Speed Aircraft F one hundred? The airplane was designed with the idea of being versatile. So if you want to go out and play in the world of aerobatics, you can get into uh, flying acro. It has you know, been designed and stressed for um, flying competition aerobatics. Not unlimited, but in that intermediate category. Um, on top of that is speed. I mean, it's a you know, high horsepower um, aircraft, uh, high useful load um, because of the, the power and the, the basis how the aircraft is designed, and then long legs. So the the creator of the airplane wanted an airplane that he can climb in and go a thousand nautical miles and not worry about refueling the airplane. Fly further than your bladder. Correct, correct. <laughs> All right, well, let's do kind of a walk and talk around here and show more of the, the unique details of this aircraft. Sure. All right, Richard, so let's start at the beginning, the front of the airplane, kind of work our way through it. Okay. So, of course, the airplane is designed with the intent of using you know, around a 350 horse uh, engine, whether it be Lycoming or Continental, uh, was actually being built for the Lycoming. The engineering company that did all the engineering figured the appropriate inlets for the cooling of the cylinders as well as for air feed uh, for the induction system. Uh, the cowling, the whole idea of the cowling was to stay tight. Uh, we, you know, of course, we want to keep down the, that frontal drag. Uh, so all, all the lines in the cowling are designed to keep the, the air attached to this fuselage and traveling back through. And how many layers do you use to build up in carbon to uh, build your cowling? So this, cow, this cowling is done in a three core three. Uh, so three layers. This is all done in Torre uh, 700, uh, which is a pre-preg uh, carbon. Uh, very strong. Um, Pretty easy to work with, in all honesty, as far as pre pregs go. Uh, Counties don't necessarily need a huge amount of um, strength to them. Uh, with the geometry of this cowling and all the curves, it'll pick up some rigidity just from uh, the curves of the cowling. You know, they, they'll act as you know, stiffeners for the thing. So, uh, as the fuselage come back into the fuselage, um, and, Look to the front there. You'll see the even the engine mounts are done in carbon. Uh, what is used in here is an FR10 as a uh, hard point with inside that carbon. Uh, FR10 is a fire-resistant um, uh, composite material. 
Um, G10 is another version of it that isn't uh, fire resistant. So one of the things that the FR10 doesn't necessarily need to be used, but the engineering company decided that was the best thing or what they wanted to see used. Um, so the, this is a this is a two seater tandem. Two seater tandem. It's yep. gonna be a really big canopy or a split canopy, and how how's it gonna open and tilt or whatnot? This is a side tilt canopy. It'll tilt to the right side of the aircraft. Um, it's got three hinge points on the right side. Uh, this bar here in the center is actually a rollover. So if you look at this thing, it's, it's fairly thick. It's solid carbon. And it's designed that in the event of you know, an unfortunate event, uh, being upside down, this becomes a rollover bar for the airplane to protect the occupants. Um, the other side of that is, I don't know anybody can blow a canopy this big. Even Jeff Rogers up at Airplane Plastics, uh, this is beyond uh, the capabilities in which he can get to. Um, so by splitting the canopy, it makes it easier to you know, deal with the, the acrylic uh, when it comes time to do it. Um, interior wise, you know, the aircraft is center stick. Uh, we'll have full controls front and back. Um, the pilot is sitting in a lower position than the rear occupant. So the occupant can see over top of the pilot, give them a little better experience during the flight. So the the whole airplane, though, is, is fully CAD designed. In other words, this is not a, we're going to try it and go. Everything was done in 3D CAD. Uh, Airboss uh, is the uh, engineering company that did this design work, and they've done you know, design work on uh, many different aircraft that have all been uh, successful. You know, they've, they've made good first flights, and they perform just as designed. So what is the positioning of the pilot and co-pilot in reference to that uh, rollover ring there? So the pilot actually sits right here, just the head of this rollover ring, um, where the pilot is sitting. We're going to install 10G seats, much like what um, uh, Oregon Aero uh, offers. Uh, and then of course the rear occupant sits right back here where once again you have another rollover. You can see this rollover protection is in here. And that actually is the full frame of this canopy. And the baggage so, is going to be just right the, here behind. The baggage is right, there'll be a access to the baggage compartment here at this panel, as well as here at the side of the aircraft. Uh, right now, we've, we've started looking at the whole baggage idea, and because of the torque tube that runs through center of the airplane going back to the, the elevators, uh, we're trying to figure out where at we could actually go with that baggage compartment. Uh, the original design has the baggage compartment high, you know, the goal of this thing is to be able, the uh, owner of the airplane wants to be able to take him and a buddy golfing someplace and be able to take their golf club. So, you know, this whole tail section of this airplane is wide open. All right, I'm gonna pop in here real quick to talk about our sponsors. As you know, I can't do this all on my own. We got to have somebody to help fuel that truck. We try really hard to work with uh, sponsors that provide a good service and a good quality product. So let's talk about those guys right now. Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, the premier provider of glass panel avionics systems for experimental and light sport aircraft. Wide Open Door Company at WideOpenDoorCo.com, your premier destination for high quality doors, including aircraft hangar doors. Warp Drive Propellers at WarpDriveInc.com, providing quality, solid carbon fiber propellers for many light sport and experimental aircraft. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for new videos and easy to navigate playlists and so much more. Speaking of fueling that truck, if you guys wanna join us on our Patreon page, become patrons of this channel, just search on Patreon for Experimental Aircraft Channel, sign up at several different levels, so check that out. Uh, so Richard, this one um, has kind of a, well it does, has a unique tail to it. You wanna explain the, the name of this particular tail and, and the why? So this tail has what we refer to as anhedral. So normally you know, dihedral, you know, your wings you know, go upwards when you see on most in all air aircraft. Um, the anhedral, the only reason it's done on this is it just looks cool. Um, <laughs> you know, everybody has a flat tail, you know, so put that downward you know, slope of the uh, horizontal, it just it gives it a, a different look. So it kind of becomes a signature look for the aircraft. Um, but I don't know of any, you know, all my years of doing this, I don't know any bonuses to doing it or any reason other than it just it just looks cool. <laughs> so, so being this is a fully aerobatic airplane, 
Uh, is there anything designed into the tail to be able to accommodate um, you know, spins or whatnot to uh, make it you know, unique to this aircraft? So with the way this airplane is constructed, the fuselage wise, and in fact you can see down here where we had to open up for getting to the rudder pulleys. Um, so once again, we're, we're with that three core three you know, setup. So the structure of this you know, airframe, the curvature of this airplane makes this tail very rigid. Um, so in, in the case of like the Lance Air Legacies, they're, you know, they're stiffening the tails because the tails, that beautiful Coke bottle shape um, at Reno, that tail actually twists. Uh, but the way this is designed, we, don't, we won't have that twist. This whole structure works like the bulkheads. And then of course we've got multiple bulkheads back here to help stiffen everything up. Uh, but the structure becomes basically the bulkheads of the, of the aircraft. The hinges are there, it's not cut the hinges yet. But, okay. So, but it has a lot of rotor authority, or it should have a lot of rotor authority. All right, so Richard, it's on to the wing here. Let's explain a little bit of this one piece, all carbon fiber wing design. So the, uh, everything about this wing is carbon fiber, spar all the way through, one piece, full length. Um, it does have a, 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 a box closeout to reinforce it. Um, the wing is a wet wing, so we have all these gray bays are the beginnings of the fuel locations. Um, the option eventually will be this entire wing will be wet. Um, this bay is left dry at this point because there is the plans to um, install retracts. The first airplane here will be a fixed gear. Um, so down the road, um, retracts will become a part of this airplane. Um, right now, just to get it flying as a prototype, prove out the design, that it was not justified to, you know, to do the retracts at the moment. All of our hinges are, um, this portion of the hinges are actually overbuilt. These are all bearing hinges, um, much like a Lance Air uh, would use. Uh, these are all machined aluminum. And of course we have the, the steel, uh, receivers for the, the ailerons. Uh, all the hinges are installed with a nut plate on the back side and a, and a steel plate and it will glass in the place so we don't necessarily have to have inspection holes in this airplane. If we ever need to replace a hinge, we can unbolt it, take it off, bolt a new one back in, or if we need to replace the bearings, we can press the bearings out and replace them at a later time. Uh, the flaps, uh, the Fowler flap system, so as we can see here, the, the flap hangers. Uh, they are done in steel and uh, definitely one, one more thing that's definitely overbuilt on this airplane. Uh, if you compare this to the Lance Air 4, uh, these are definitely a lot heavier uh, duty. Uh, if you tear these flap hangers off, you've got real problems. It's, you know, you're going to rip the wing apart before you damage these. But, so in the manufacturing process, obviously as a kit, I assume a lot of this work is going to be done already, but as a manufacturer, how do you kind of go through the process of creating uh, each one of these separately and then join together. So as we're as we're building, of course, the engineering company came up with you know what needs to be done and, and where. Uh, so we'll what we do is we now come through and you'll see there's hard points uh, where each one of these uh, hinges install. So once again, that uh, G10 or FR10 is back here behind this to give us a nice solid hard point, so we don't get compaction when we're bolting these things up. Once we get these into place, we'll then set the ailerons up here into place and we'll actually figure where the, aileron, you know, where the ailerons need to be. This way, if we have any deviation on our hinge install, uh, we can deal with it on the aileron side. Um, when production happens, all oh, this will be you know, basically cookie cutter. So when, you know, when production starts, every hinge will be in the right location, everything will be as it needs to be because we'll have the appropriate fixtures to do so. So if you damage an aileron, you need to call us and buy a new aileron, we can set the aileron to bolt right up. All right, Richard, so let's talk about the specs that are in theory at the moment because this hasn't flown, but what is it supposed to be, do be doing? So in theory, cruise-wise, the airplane should, is anticipated to be a 225 knot airplane. Um, as far as the loading on the airplane, it's plus six minus four uh, is what the G loading is, is expected to be. Uh, the V and E on the airplane, 285 knots, and we're looking at about 1,125 pounds of useful load. 
So the air, uh, uh, empty weight of the airplane is anticipated to be about 1675 uh, with a gross of um, around 2800. Okay, now this, there's a little bit more to go obviously here. You're waiting on some landing gear parts and engine mounts and so forth. Uh, and then this will go together pretty quickly. We're not going to announce when you might see this in the air, what air show, but where to follow the progress along the way. So you can follow the progress on Facebook and LinkedIn. I'm not sure if he has a uh, Instagram account, but Facebook and LinkedIn, it's uh, Speed Aircraft Corporation. Uh, Robert Miller is the owner of the company, uh, been an excellent customer to work with, and his, he pays a lot of attention to details, and he expects me to pay a lot of attention to the details. So uh, he's anxious to get this in the air, and this has been a dream of his for some time. And there's actually even the plans to do a twin engine jet off of this basically the same airframe.